the LCD to work. Check it out. All right, so here's the story. Two years ago, I just finished my first year of university and I was starting my first internship. One day I was scrolling through my Google News Feed and an article about this thing called Asteroid OS showed up. It's this open source smartwatch operating system and it kind of blew my mind that people were working on something so complex in their free time. And that got me thinking, if they can design a full-fledged OS, what's stopping me from designing the entire smartwatch? From the enclosure to the OS to the electronics, the whole nine yards. There actually was a little issue though. Um, I didn't know where to start. I had a little bit of basic engineering experience at this point. So I designed some PCBs that had replicated Ben Eater's 8-bit computer, but it wasn't something that I started from scratch. I also couldn't CAD or 3D print to save my life. I tried making this enclosure for a USB and it looked pretty nice on the screen, but when I actually ended up printing it, I had a bunch of issues with things not fitting, and to be honest, it just didn't look that great. The point being, I was way in over my head. I didn't even know what I needed to learn in order to be able to complete this project. So after about a week or two of Googling and trying to find a place to start, I gave up. Let's fast forward a bit. So it was near the end of 2020 and I was talking to one of my buddies about projects we were working on. At the time I didn't really have anything too concrete that I was super excited about working on. And all of a sudden I remember this crazy idea about building a smartwatch I had two years ago. And I realized, hey, I can do that. And I'm still not an experienced engineer by any means, but at this point I know what I need to learn in order to be able to create this watch. So at this point I got to planning. I honestly didn't know what was and wasn't possible, so I just wrote down everything I could think of. Things like syncing with my phone over Bluetooth to get notifications and emails, some basic fi fitness and health tracking. I also really want to do wireless charging. So once I had a rough idea of what I wanted to do, I started designing the electronics. And this might seem a little out of order, but it takes about two weeks for the boards to arrive from China after I'm done designing them. And I knew the electronics was going to be my strong suit, so I decided just to start with that and get it mostly out of the way for now. Two weeks after I finished designing the boards, they arrived, along with a big bag of parts. In total, there's about six major parts, the microcontroller, the accelerometer, an all-in-one sensor that does blood oxygen, heart rate, and ECG, the LCD breakout board, and the wireless transmitter and receiver. I'll be talking a little bit more about these in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. And so after I was done designing the hardware, um, I went back to where I probably should have started. Research, planning, and documentation. These three things are going to be key for me succeeding. Doing research got me really excited because it made me realize that in the two years between when I first thought of the idea and now, a lot of people had actually gone ahead and made their own smartwatch. There's this guy called Samson March who created a project most similar to what I'm aiming for, but there's a whole bunch of other people who've done it too. This was really exciting because it told me A, that my plan was definitely doable, and B, I had people to talk to and resources to pick apart if I ever got stuck. Part of doing research was watching a bunch of reviews and teardowns, which gave me a whole bunch of ideas for future upgrades, such as custom antenna designs and switching to an OLED panel to give me some deeper blacks and allow for an always-on display. Second, I need some kind of schedule. I don't really have any strict deadlines or anything, I'm just doing this for fun. But as people smarter than me have said, if you have a schedule and you're an idiot, at least you're going to realize you're an idiot. I'm planning on having the first revision done by April. I have broken it into three major sections. P0 is the minimum viable product, and it basically just needs to tell me the time. P1 includes everything that should be doable, such as grabbing sensor data and storing it locally on the watch. Um, P2 is all the extra stuff I'd like to add, such as Bluetooth connectivity, or a custom antenna design, or writing an Android app. I think I can get everything done by April, but if I'm behind schedule, this list just helps me determine where to make cuts. Third, and most importantly, I need to document this process. Typically, documentation is just a long, boring document that explains every single design decision I made, along with links to things like simulations or a spreadsheet calculator. I'd also like to document these videos on YouTube. Hopefully, I can get some feedback from you guys, or maybe I can inspire you to create your own projects. Hopefully, you guys decide to follow along. I'm planning to post every two to four weeks, giving general updates, but also explaining how my design works in relatively non-technical terms. I'll see you guys in the next one.